we're ready to clean the light, clean the boat, and prep the tube for bonding. Our, per, our preferred sealant is marine grade 4200. 5200 will work as well. It's just gonna be tougher to remove if you ever wanna change the light out, upgrade it. One thing to be aware of um, with marine grade 4200, it's a 3M product. You can get it at just about any uh, boat supply store or you can find it on amazon.com or, or a lot of different places online. It, it does not like alcohol, so whatever you do, do not clean your boat and the light with an alcohol-based cleaning product like isopropyl alcohol. It's best to use acetone. Uh, there's two things you need to be aware of with using acetone, though. Acetone will eat away at the powder coat ever so slightly. It will also eat away at certain decals and things on your boat, so you want to test a little bit of the acetone on the area you're going to be mounting over on the gel coat. And the second thing is we will use it to clean the back of this powder-coated light, we're going to be extremely careful not to let any of it run over the edges or get on the front surface of the powder coat because it will dull the powder coat and the, the finish won't look as good. Not seeing any reaction with the powder coat. I wouldn't suspect we would. We've done several Supras and it's never been an issue. So we're just going to go ahead and start cleaning. We get all the dust and debris from our drilling. Any residue from the old adhesive off of there that we can eliminate. We've got our marine grade 4200 here loaded up ready to go. We're going to use a decent amount of this stuff. We want to make sure we have a nice seal all the way across the back of the light. We've machined these troughs into the perimeter of the light and around the wire holes to create an extra pocket for a little bit more of that 4200 to exist and give you a nice watertight seal. This stuff is really sticky, really messy, and it can be difficult to clean up. So you want to make sure to just contain the mess to the back of the light only. And then we will inject a little bit into these screw holes on the boat, especially the gigantic hole that the factory left here from that light as well as the unused screw hole that we have over here. We want to make sure that should water ever get behind the light, that it's not leaking into the hole through one of those. So let's start by filling the holes we don't need and the screw holes that don't have anything in them yet. You'll notice I'm injecting into the screw hole in the corner and then if I'm gonna to touch it off anywhere, I wanna make sure that any mess comes into the middle where the light will cover it. like to make sure we get a nice good amount of that around the wire that prevents any possible leakage around the wire into the light or around the wire hole into the boat so I've got a friend helping me with this part to pull the wires I want to hold it right there. I don't want to touch that on the boat yet because the 4200 will make a mess if I put it in the wrong position. So I still need to add a little bit more 4200 into those wire holes. And then yeah, once we're done, we'll inject a little bit, a little bit back in from the interior of the boat as well on that bigger hole make sure it never leaks all right we're ready now one trick here before you try to position it on the boat you don't want to have to slide it or move it and clean up a mess from that 4200 so I position two screws in those top two holes and I'll touch the screws first into my screw holes so I'm aligned and now I know the lights in the position it needs to be in we just slide the light right onto the boat and we're there now we can tighten those first two screws and then we'll go and do the last for this final step it's good to set a little bit of a lower torque setting to start make sure you don't strip your screw heads out we're gonna go with 20 and then we'll work our way up from there and tighten it all in Good back pressure on the drill so you don't strip the screw head. Okay. 